pretty special feeling, there's no doubt. I reminded the kids um, when we had a chance to like really regroup after uh, Thanksgiving Eve when we returned from North Middlesex, we, we talked a lot about you know enjoying the moment. You know, this yeah. doesn't, I know it's back to back years, but you don't know where you're going to be there again and, and to really enjoy the whole process and continue to work, which is never an issue with this group. Um, but uh, yeah, it's pretty special. You have a pretty good group of seniors out there. Um, how is it going to sort of feel watching them in their final game tomorrow? It's, you know, uh, how fortunate are we to be able to watch them in their final game at Gillette, in yeah. Gillette under the lights. So we've never experienced that, which is going to be exciting. And, you know, I think this senior class has really shown just tremendous leadership. Uh, we had so many holes to fill from last year and with the new schedule um, mm -hmm. and to come out the way that they have and to have the challenges that they've had all year and to be able to like keep coming from behind, you know, to yeah. be an incredible Narragansett team, you know, come from behind and, and beat them by one and go for two and win it. Um, then being down 10 points in the fourth quarter and coming back, you know, that that's leadership. Like to have that resolve and, you know, we're okay, you know, we set goals, they kept meeting them, mm -hmm. continue to set, set goals, and it's pretty pretty amazing to see them uh, accomplish things along the way. Mm -hmm. What do you think about West Bridgewater as a team? I think West Bridgewater is a undefeated team. Uh, they've given up 62 points, 62 points in 12 games. They've had seven shutouts. Uh, they're they're an excellent football team. They spread the ball around offensively. The quarterback is fantastic. Both uh, they run a split veer, um, multiple sets. They come downhill. Uh, the tight end is excellent. The Skinner kid, uh, number thirteen, they move him all around to get the ball in his hands from the slot to wing in the backfield. They isolate him out wide. Um, you know they're they're an excellent football team. They chase the ball well on defense. They tackle well, and probably most importantly, they're they're a disciplined team that doesn't hurt themselves. They're very composed. Mm -hmm. So, what's your focus on offense going to be tomorrow to try to get into that end zone a little bit more than some teams? Uh, well, we are who we are. You know, you don't go all the way and in, into to beat some phenomenal uh, Central Mass teams to get to this point play an excellent lead team that represented the West. Uh, you know, we, we got there doing what we do and we'll continue to do that. You know, we're not, you know, if anyone's watched us, we got two backs over a thousand yards. We have an offensive line that's the strength of this football team. We have tremendous leadership and Tom Cuevas at quarterback and we'll rely on them. Jacob Banch's leadership on defense, Maddie Smith, Johnny Pinard. Connor Smith, Zach Legros, Ben Goolsby, you know, those kids, you know, yesterday at Gillette, I was asked several times about, man, how do you do it with dressing 26 kids? And it's not that we dress 26 kids, it's the 26 kids that we dress. Like, they are just, you know, I can't, can't say enough. Yeah. What's your final message going to be to those kids before they head out on the field tomorrow? We are going to pin our ears back and go like hell and have a lot of fun along the way. All right. Thank you very much, Coach. You got it. Thank you.